In this video, I'm going to be telling you why I really like the Hoka Max 6. What is up, everybody, and welcome to 40 Runs. My name is Chris Ford, and I'm a running coach who likes to review running shoes here on YouTube. Okay, people, so we've got the Max 6 on the channel today, and I've kind of got a love-hate relationship with Hoka. So Hoka shoes of late have been a little bit um, disappointing, heavy and disappointing, but the Max 6 could be about to change all that. Right, so in this video, we're gonna go through things I like, things I don't like, because there is a couple of things, and then we're gonna wrap it all up at the end, and I'm gonna tell you why. I like this shoe. Now, Hoka Mac is a sort of up-tempo daily trainer. It's that faster feeling daily trainer from the Hoka liner. So you've got like the Clifton, and then maybe think about it, you've got like the Mac underneath that. It's for those people who want a slightly faster feeling daily trainer. Now I had version four, I think it was, uh, which I really liked. The only issue I had with that shoe was the uh, sort of wear and tear on it. It had a exposed EVA uh, outsole on it. And it, for me, running down the, the rivers and things like that, the toe pass, it really shredded up very quickly. I didn't then bother with any of the later versions of that shoe. Now I'm excited because this version, well, there's been some major changes, firstly in the midsole, but also as you can see, on the outsole. So look, let's dive into the stats and features and let's tell you what's new here because there's quite a bit going on. So the Max 6, like I said, is a sort of up-tempo daily trainer. Uh, it features a new rubber outsole on the shoe, which is good news. We've got 37 mil of stack in the heel and a 32 at the forefront to, to four foot to give us a five Mill drop. We've got a new mesh upper. We've got uh, a full length supercritical EVA, which is completely new versus the previous version. We've got uh, a weight of 241 grams, eight and a half ounces. It doesn't fit true to size. This is a UK 10. And I would strongly recommend if you have a slightly wide foot that you get the wide fitting. This is a very narrow shoe. This is uh, along the sort of lines of the Puma Velocity Nitro 3, which is actually a good comparison for this shoe. I think that and probably the Adidas Supernova Rise Supernova Solution are probably where this shoe sort of, yeah, competes against. Now, the biggest takeaway for me is the lightness uh, of this shoe, the feeling of lightness of this shoe. Eight and a half ounces, it just feels even lighter than that as you're bobbing along in it. It's a very versatile shoe. You can do multiple different things in it. You can do the sort of easy miles in it. For me, I can do club sessions in it. And then I would say you could probably go 10 to 13 miles in it before you'd probably think, mm, I probably need a little bit more underfoot. Like I said, they've introduced a new rubber outsole on the shoe, which is a great addition. Gone has that sort of uh, exposed EVA that they had on the previous version, which was, to be honest with you, a total waste of time. Yeah, we've got this great rubber outsole on there, which is provides a, a tacky, sort of grippy feeling to the shoe, which is really, really positive. It's great in the wet. It's been raining over here in the UK for basically the whole year, and it's been brilliant in the wet. Like I said, you've got a new mesh upper, which is super breathable. It's great. Uh, lockdown's perfect. Has it got a gusseted tongue? Yes, it has. Uh, it's got a nice amount of foam around the um, heel area to make it feel comfortable, but not like overbearing. But like I said, you've got to watch the sizing, people. So you've got this new super critical EVA foam in the shoe, which is, is lighter and bouncier feeling than previous versions. It's a massive upgrade, I would say, the foam in this shoe versus the previous shoe. It just feels bouncy. It feels really nice underfoot. I don't think it's a bad looking shoe. Let me know in the comments what you think about how it looks. Yeah, and that's probably what's new here and what's going on in terms of stats and features. Okay, so next up, things I like. I like the lightness. I like the new midsole compound. I think the outsole is brilliant on the shoe. I like the lockdown. I like that springy feeling I get when I run in the shoe. I like 140 pounds. I don't think that's over the top in terms of pricing. Like I said, I like the way it looks. Build quality seems to be good. And overall, it's a good daily trainer that sort of suits somebody who's looking for something a little bit more up-tempo. Okay, things I don't like. Well, obviously the sizing, UK 10, it is a bit narrow, so just watch that. I think that's a little bit annoying. But in fairness, they do do a wide fit option, and that's probably about it. There really isn't that many things to dislike with the Max 6. It's a great option. It's a great shoe. It's versatile in the respect of you can just go out there and do an easy, you know, three, four miles. I've been wearing this on the treadmill. It's great. You can plod about and do bits and bobs, and then you can put your foot down. Maybe you've got a, like a tempo run in your plan. This shoe can soak that up really easily. And I like these sort of up-tempo daily trainers because for me, you either go sort of like max stack, I don't know, let's say super blast, or I go these sort of shoes like this, like I said, the Puma Velocity Nitro 3, 
The Supernova, uh, the solution for me is the preference. I like to wear them. I love to wear them on club nights, for example. You know, I'll do three or four miles beforehand and then I'll do the session. It's a great shoe for me because if I'm looking to pick up the speed or I'm looking to just plod about and do a bit of coaching, that's great. It works for me really, really well. And like I said, the big plus for me is this feels good on the treadmill because I've been doing some treadmill miles in the week as well. So overall, as a package, there's not really much here to sort of uh, warn you about or to say to you avoid. This is probably my favorite Hoka shoe at the moment, although I do really like the Rocket X too. But in terms of daily and sort of the other shoes that are out there, I think this is a really good option. It's well priced, it'll do the job, uh, it's something different. It's better than a Nike Pegasus. It's better than a Turbo Nature. What else is it better than? A lot of the shoes that are out there. I'll do a comparison video, I think. I think I might put it up against the Adidas because that's the other shoe I've been wearing uh, to do those bits that I mentioned. But yeah, that's it, guys. I think there's not much else to add, really, other than this is a massive, massive update that I really, really like. I think this is going to appeal to a lot of people. Yes, you've got to be careful on the width. Yes, you've got to be careful of the sizing. But it's eight and a half ounces in this UK 10. It looks good. The midsole's been massively improved. The outsole is just, well, it's just on another level compared to the previous version. It's comfortable, it bounces about, and it's, yeah, it's everything you want from a sort of lightweight, up-tempo daily trainer. So there we go, people. Well done, Hoka. I really like that. Thank you very much. Um, yes, the Max 6, massive improvement versus previous versions. Let me know in the comments, do you agree, disagree? Now, there is one caveat to all of this. Firstly, do you buy the Mac X2 when that comes out instead of that? Because that could potentially do a lot more. And secondly, it's also up against the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel, which is a big problem. But that is a video for another day. Right, guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. I shall catch you all later.